It's Monday, December 17th, 2007. I'm James Kotecki, and this is Playbook TV. John McCain has been racking up left-leaning endorsements as of late. On Sunday, he received the backing of the Des Moines Register and the Boston Globe, two papers not exactly known for their conservative bona fides. Today, McCain was endorsed by independent Democrat Joe Lieberman, who's hoping to lend McCain some of the same Joe-mentum that catapulted him to a decisive fifth-place finish in the 2004 New Hampshire primary. Lieberman, who is apparently still determined to be vice president no matter who he's running with, is overheard telling Republicans, yeah, I used to hang out with Al Gore a little bit back in the day, but I'm totally cool now. Meanwhile, McCain hopes to win GOP primary voters with his new slogan, John McCain, the Republican that Democrats love. Next, former Senator Bob Kerry has endorsed Barack Obama as the Washington Post, Post reports. One of the reasons he gave for the endorsement was the fact that he likes the fact that his name is Barack Hussein Obama, that his father and paternal grandfather were Muslims because it gives him important insight on the one billion Muslims on the planet. You know, Bob, I know what you're saying, but I'm not sure the whole Hussein Muslim angle is really the way to go right now. Finally, a certain Republican presidential candidate has raised a certain large amount of money, but since I've sold out to the elite media conspiracy, I'm not allowed to tell you any more details. Finally, John Edwards today. I'm just kidding, it was Ron Paul. Ron Paul, Ron Paul, Ron Paul. I know that much to the chagrin of many of you, I don't mention him every single show, but when he deserves to be mentioned, he deserves to be mentioned. Politico's Ken Vogel has a story. The guy pulled in $6 million yesterday, probably the largest single-day political fundraising total in U.S. history. Campaign spokesman Jesse Benton says the money put forth, puts total fourth quarter fundraising at over $18 million. That means he's almost guaranteed to outraise all of his Republican rivals for the fourth quarter. The date of his money bomb, December 16th, was the 234th anniversary of the Boston Tea Pot A. But something tells me that Paul's supporters party with beverages a little stronger than tea. Well, that's it for today's hit. Check out politico.com slash playbook for more stories, including Mitt Romney's connection to island tax havens. And don't worry, Celine Dion may have played her final show at Caesars Palace, but believe me, somehow my heart will go on right here on Playbook TV.